Europe's northwestern countries are some of the region's largest consumers of disposable plastic products and greatest producers of plastic waste. Some of this waste ends up as landfill or is incinerated to generate energy. Little is recycled and the supply of recycled materials is low. Yet the demand for plastic is still rising. In 2019, 65 million tons of plastic products were manufactured in the EU, but only 30% of plastic waste was collected for recycling. Half was exported outside the EU and is thus lost for the European circular economy. This situation must change. We can achieve this change by transitioning to a circular economy where waste products are repaired, reused or recycled. We must recycle more plastics, not only because it is better for the environment, but because it creates economic benefits too. This transition is urgent. Developing local circular economies and strengthening the market for recyclates in Northwest Europe has many benefits. These benefits are bringing together the countries of Northwest Europe through the Transform CE project. Transform CE offers businesses an alternative to virgin plastic feedstock by adopting a circular economy business model. The aim of Transform CE is to recover all types of single-use plastic from local waste streams and transform them into valuable new products. In just under four years, we will save hundreds of tons of plastic from municipal waste. The project includes the establishment of three facilities in Northwest Europe, an additive manufacturing R&D centre in Manchester in the UK, with a prototyping unit established in Mons in Belgium, and an intrusion-extrusion moulding facility, the Green Plastic Factory, in Almira in the Netherlands. These facilities provide a solution for the efficient use of material resources and increase the amount of material recovered, recycled, and diverted from landfill. In the Netherlands, lower-grade plastics are separated from local plastic waste. The green plastic factory in Almira is using intrusion-extrusion moulding to manufacture products such as construction components and furniture for outdoor applications from low-grade plastic waste. Examples manufactured to date include benches, poles, key covers, and even building materials to build houses. These products can be recycled up to nine times. The R&D centre in Manchester and the prototyping unit in Mons are separating higher-grade plastics from local plastic waste. They produce recycled feedstocks or filaments for additive manufacturing. This is turning single-use plastic waste into new recycled plastic feedstocks for a whole range of applications to then become all sorts of new, valuable, recycled circular products. The project will help businesses to make the transition towards new circular economy models, thus promoting the large-scale local use of municipal plastic waste. This is just the beginning. Transform CE's local approach can be replicated and implemented anywhere in Europe. By 2023, the project will have generated the following results. The establishment of three facilities, an R&D center, a prototyping unit, and the green plastic factory. The provision of technical guidelines for using single-use plastic as a feedstock, the development of new circular business models, and the retention of value through diverse recycling methods. The results will be collated into an EU roadmap towards a circular economy for single-use plastic waste that will incorporate scalability of technology and demonstrate circular economy business models. Furthermore, Transform CE will stimulate large-scale uptake of plastic waste across Northwest Europe for the manufacture of new products. Be part of this transformation! Visit nweurope.eu slash transform dash ce.